Hello and welcome to Frank's School. I'm going on with my Advent calendar of uh, hymns and carols. Uh, uh, on this, the 76th day of the third year, Oh, How Shall I Receive Thee is the one that I'm going to, uh, I want to talk about today. And the ad hoc choir did not know it. Uh, and it was might have been a little tricky to sing, so uh, I skipped across it. But I found a, uh, a, uh, a, a group of four, I believe they're Swedish people, singing it online, and I uh, have uh, put that on there. Uh, I, well, it, it, it's, it's, on, it's on there as a, I think, a, well, I don't know, you'll, you'll find it. In any case, uh, there's a lot of German here. Wie soll ich dich empfangen? How shall I you uh, receive? Uh, that's the German name of it. This is a translation. Uh, and the tune itself uh, is named this, Valet will ich dir geben. This means, uh, this is a different uh, text. It's saying, uh, I would gladly give up the world. Uh, uh, you know, I was looking at that. And it's tempting at this point. I will eventually uh, take one of these uh, hymns or carols and show you the German uh, instead of the English. Uh, this poem... Uh, well, the tune, I believe, was harmonized or else credited to, to him. Uh, Bach did a lot with this, uh, th this tune. If you look at it under, under this title and go to Bach, uh, well, you, it, it'll take you on. I, I went on quite a, a journey of research this morning doing it. Here's the man, Paul Gerhardt, I assume German. Uh, he wrote the poem, this poem. And the translation in this book, it says composite. Uh, I, I think you can probably see. It says composite, and I'm not sure what that means. I think it was done by various people. But if you look at the hymn right beside it, here is Catherine Winkworth. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think I'll use that hymn uh, in my Advent calendar. Uh, uh, I could, but I, I don't think I will. But she is a very, very big deal, this woman right here. Uh, she is worth researching. Uh, go and look at Wikipedia. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd say, especially women, if you, if you want to be proud of the contribution of women uh, to literature, here's one you, pro you almost certainly have never heard of her. She was English. She lived one year in Dresden, uh, and... Uh, and, 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 and she died near Geneva, but uh, she was English. But the thing is, she was a translator, and she translated uh, these wonderful German uh, hymns and uh, chorales into wonderful English. Later, her name is going to come up again. I don't know if it will come up again here in the Christmas season, but she did wonderful work. And uh, she's been given credit for doing more than any other person to bring the German uh, tradition of choral singing into the English language. Um, again and again, her name shows up as a translator. She came back to England and she published a book of carols. I, I, I'm not prepared to teach all about her. I, I don't know, but I could tell you there is a woman uh, that I take my hat off to. She changed my life, I suppose, because uh, this tradition of singing in, you know, four-part harmony, whether it's carols or, or, or hymns or chorales, she's probably uh, one of the reasons uh, that's in my life. Well, I'm going to go to a second shot, and I'm going to take a, a, a sentence out of it and uh, diagram it. So uh, I'll be right back. Hello, I'm right back. Uh, I think I've got this right. I've taken this sentence. Well, it's not a sentence. This is not a sentence. I took it from the third stanza. And before I go into the syntax and the meaning, I'd like to point out that this is, I guess this is trimeter. O love beyond all tell, be, O love beyond all telling, that led thee to embrace in love, O love excelling our lost and fallen race. You don't stress that. You don't say telling. You say telling. So this is a feminine ending. Now, when it's put into the music, 
uh, it, 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 you know, the music stretches it out so you get a beat here. So you have what's like 4-3, four, 4-3, three, four, three, and that way it's like common verse. Uh, iambic. Um, now, it's not a sentence. There's no predication. Well, there's predication here. I think, yeah, here, here there's predication. But, uh, but, but it's uh, part of a, of a dependent clause. This is just saying, oh, love. <laughs> Uh, you could add words if you, or if you wanted to say, oh, this is love, if you wanted. But, uh, oh, and, and I should let you try. I think I've got it right. Oh, love. Oh, love. <laughs> that, that's what's being said. And the rest is, uh, is a, a modification. Uh, uh, beyond, beyond all telling. <clears throat> beyond is a preposition. Telling uh, is is uh, is a gerund. It, it's a it's a present participle that's used as a noun. Uh, uh, that doesn't exist in German. No, it doesn't, and it. I don't think it. Well, I hadn't better get into that. But there's a, this is one of those things that is al almost unique to English. All telling. Beyond telling, all telling. <coughs> uh, that led that led thee to embrace that, there's a, 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 a relative pronoun, love did this, Lo, love led, uh, and it led thee. But it didn't, it, 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 this is an objective complement, uh, to embrace, to embrace, uh, in love all love excelling. In, how? In, in love, that's how, to embrace in love. And what kind of love? Uh, excelling. Excelling love. <laughs> and I, I go around the corner because that's a, that's a, a, a pr present participle modifying. This, this is a gerund, uh, uh, acting as a noun. This is, a, this is acting as an adjective. Excelling love, that's what kind of love. And excelling... All love, uh, excelling love. <laughs> it's love beyond love. It's uh, and to embrace uh, to embrace our lost. To embrace. Oh wait. Uh, to embrace what? Embrace our. I left this out. To to embrace our our race. And it's not, uh, uh, here goes our, here goes and, fallen goes around the corner. Now that, this is a present participle, this is a past participle, but it's fallen race, it's modifying, oh, I don't know, our, our, <laughs> I'm sorry about this, our lost and. Uh, Hour goes here, loss goes here, and uh, race goes there. It's lost and fallen. Hour, lost, and fallen. And would go right in there. And uh, this, I don't know what I was thinking here. Um, <clears throat> so now I think I've got it right. Let me take a look. Oh, love, beyond all telling, that led thee to embrace our race. And how, in love, excelling all love, uh, and what kind of race? Our race, lost race, fallen race. Now it's right. Uh, all right. Uh, I hope you check out Catherine Winkworth. Uh, and I can tell you, too, that, boy, uh, the German tradition of singing is amazing. And, uh, and I'll lead you there if you don't know about it already. Be before the Christmas season is over, uh, we're going there. See you tomorrow.